Go, go, get in. Oh. <laughs> I'm standing in one of the most unique and interesting places in all of golf. This is the 12th green at Tamarack Country Club here in Greenwich, Connecticut. From front to back, it's about 83 yards. That's about 250 feet. And today, I'm going to see how I fare putting every single inch of it. I'm Luke Curdenine, and this is Play Smart. So the green itself is wonderfully, brilliantly complex. It's got all these different undulations, which is gonna make the putt even harder than the mere length of it itself. I've got it pulled up on Golf Logics here, and for the most part, the green runs from back to front with one big exception. It's got this huge valley in the middle right here. If I don't hit my putt hard enough to roll through it, my ball's gonna end up down in this gully and maybe even funnel off the green over here. So the thing about monster putts, like the kind you'll find on Tamarack's 12th green, is that statistics on them are almost impossible to find. Now for reference, here's a 30 foot putt. We see this all the time in golf. And on the PGA Tour, players will only make this about, on average, 5% of the time. So here's what a 90 foot putt looks like. We see this on tour sometimes too. And what we find is that players will three putt a putt of this length about 50% of the time. So we're at about 111 feet here, a few feet further back. And this is the length of the longest putt ever hold on the PJ Tour by a player named Craig Barlow back in 2008. Just shows how rare making a putt of this length is. And that's for a 220 foot putt? Well, nobody really knows. So today we're gonna to find out. I'm a one handicap for reference and I'm going to hit 25 golf balls from this spot here to that pin over there, then average out the results to try to see what we can find. I think the uh, goal here is to give it a whack and I didn't quite give it enough of a whack. Can it get through that valley? Not the best of starts here. Let's see if I can try to secure a two putt. That's really the goal. Got some work cut out just to get in the hole in three putts here. All right, five more. Let's get going. Oh, we thinned it. Get through the valley. All right, I'm on the top tier, but no matter how hard you hit these putts, it's never hard enough. That's what I've learned through 10 golf balls. It's quite funny how the nerves start racking up when you're fighting for three putts here. Oh! Oh, first two putt of the day, get in. Whee. Second two putt of the day. No four putts in this batch. Up to my 25th putt. Go, go, get in. Oh. <laughs> Victory walk up the 12th at Tamarack. Crowd appreciates the everyman hero. There's the tap in for the two putt. There's another two putt. Oh, I'm in a real groove now. So after 25 putts on my favorite green here at Tamarack, to that pin all the way over there, what did we find? We found that on average, I left myself about 23 feet for my second putt, and that I averaged overall about 2.96 putts. So basically I'm odds on for a three putt. In fact, I'm actually working quite hard considering it starts with a 20 footer. And as for any advice from a golfer to my fellow golfers about how to make long, treacherous putts like this slightly more easy, quite simply, hit your first shot closer. <laughs>